All right. Let's see what this lovely lady has in store for us. Watching women settle for men who literally don't give a shit about them has to be mm. like one of the most crushing things about being in your 20s. And I think the Ah, uh, I got to start right away. Okay, so I guarantee you this idea of watching women settle for guys that don't give a shit about them. I guarantee you this is extremely subjective in nature. The irony is, of course, that girls don't want guys that are hyper obsessed with them. So I guess the alternative is guys that don't give a shit about you. At least that's the perception. Hmm. Let's continue. I think the justifications might even be sadder. You hear a lot of women say like, oh, I want to end up married. I want to have kids. I don't want to end up alone. And our society's obsession and overemphasis on relationships of men as being fulfilling is basically a great way to ensure that you will end up lonely. Marriage is not a cure for loneliness. Has it ever dawned on you that maybe, just maybe by the way, a relationship or a marriage isn't just about enjoyment? What about responsibility, duty to your culture, continuing on lineage? I mean, I always bring up the birth rate. The birth rate in the Western world is not high enough. So basically what that means is that we're not replacing ourselves, okay? This is why we have to now import people. Importing a mass amount of people to do the labor jobs in our country also comes with different sorts of ramifications. But we'll get into that another time. A relationship with a man is not a cure for loneliness. And I understand that to so many women, it is so important for them to have kids and to become parents. And I can't help but to think, like, at what cost? This narrative of constantly talking about how kids aren't the most important thing and family isn't the most important thing is honestly starting to drive me nuts. I mean, what else are you living for? What else is there to live for other than your nihilistic enjoyment? Honestly, there's only so many times you can go around the merry-go-round until you just need to get off, okay? You can go around a couple times, three, four times, and at some point... If you're a normal person, you'll get bored of the same thing, the same ride. So why is it that so many girls just want to sit on the merry-go-round forever? Now, I'm not saying that there's not a lot of guys that also don't do this, but particularly I'm noticing that girls are the ones that are advocating so heavily, so, so heavily to just sit on the merry-go-round forever. I wish more women knew how in control of their lives they actually are. They've never been more in control. There has never been in time in history where women have been more in control of their lives. And they're very aware of it. That's why they're constantly telling us they're independent. Constantly. I don't know what world you live in. Especially in the dating stage. People will show you who they are and you need to just listen to that and you need to trust. A partner who's never planned a birthday party for you sounds like a partner who's never going to plan a Mother's Day for you. Okay, so why is that the most important thing? Once again, so planning a day for you is the most important thing? It's never enough. It's never enough. You chose a guy for a specific set of reasons. He tells you what the deal is. You accept it. And then one day you wake up and you don't accept it anymore. Isn't the whole idea that it's supposed to be consensual? Isn't that the whole idea of this? It's just never enough and you always want more. Just admit it. Just admit that you're never satisfied. For you. A partner who's never remembered a single detail about your life is going to be one of those fathers on those like street interviews wondering when their child's birthday is. And I think it's like so sad when you try to talk to these things. A man's responsibility and a woman's responsibility is different. Now, I'm not saying a guy shouldn't memorize his kid's birthdays. Obviously, I'm not saying that. But I am saying, realistically speaking, it's not that important. Men have the responsibilities they're supposed to fulfill. And they typically do, okay? Women have theirs. Traditionally speaking, okay? Men cared about the practical realities of things. Women cared about the fantasy stuff or the feelings or the emotions of things, such as arbitrary days. A birthday is an arbitrary day, guys. 
I hate to say this, but it's the truth, okay? I haven't cared about my birthday in over five years. I think the last time I cared about, no, longer than that, maybe even a decade at this point, okay? Guys don't give a shit about their birthdays. So we don't care about our own birthdays. Why would we care about someone else's? I'm not saying, okay, if you have kids, sure, you should probably memorize their birthday. But to expect guys to give a shit about an arbitrary day is just really trying to force this idea down their throat. Like, why can't you just be more like a woman? Just be more like me. I care about this. Therefore, you should care about this. This is all that this is. And unanimously, if guys were honest and told the truth, they just don't give a fuck. That's what they would tell you with other women especially women who are married especially older women and they're gonna tell you things like hey men just don't love the way that we do men just don't get it men yes they don't it's true we don't love the same way you guys do okay <laughs> and i don't necessarily even want to get into hyper depth as to why we love differently because it's going to probably ruffle a lot of feathers and just don't remember that stuff's just not important to men and I just need all women to understand that you are the main character of your life, not him. Like, honestly, imagine if we tried to explain friendships with women the way that we explain relationships with men. Like, yeah, she forgot my birthday and she decided she wanted to go out with... Um, a Is she paying the bills? Is she listening to all your problems at home? Is she listening to how you come home from work and complain about the same coworker for the hundredth time? sitting there not giving advice because you don't want to be given advice on it you just want someone to hear your problem okay does your friend do all of that for you on a daily basis does he provide security or is she in this case does she provide security probably not right to even slightly compare a female to female friendship with a man and woman intimate relationship is blatantly disingenuous it is not even close to the same and this whole notion of oh we have to be best friends obviously not true okay as soon as intimacy occurs the entire dynamic changes okay obviously otherwise we wouldn't be marrying uh women or men of the opposite gender okay what we'd be doing is just having long-term relationships platonic with our friends and marrying our friends and gaining all the tax benefits if that is how the world functioned but it clearly doesn't okay clearly there is some maybe you know i'm just totally theorizing of course right just maybe the act of intimacy has some sort of effect on how the emotions are represented in a relationship between a man and a woman maybe maybe radical concept different other friends unrelated to me didn't even think to invite me out or anything told me that it was just a girl's night but yeah we're actually going to move in with each other next week like no i think i'm actually going to stay friends with her because she's never raised her voice at me and i think that's really cool and so many people will try to tell you a man's love is just different do you mean it because you expect perfection because you expect some guy you think you're so special that some guy is supposed to sweep you off your feet all day long, every day, and perpetually continue that forever because your whole life you were told that you're a princess and that you deserve princess treatment. And that guy is coming just because of who you are. Not for what you do, but you're just that special. This is where this fantasy comes from. It's quite blatantly obvious, if I'm being honest. It's worse? Because what you're describing is something worse. It's something that you would not accept from a friendship with a woman, from a casual friendship with someone who you're not planning to have. Oh no, girls accept way worse from casual friendships. Constant cancellations, lack of loyalty, talking badly behind each other's backs. Girls accept all of these things in, in their friendships, right? Because girl friendships typically aren't necessarily just about honor, respect, and all these things. They're about feelings and feeling good. And if you've ever witnessed from a third party, girls being, uh, girls being friends with each other, you will notice these patterns. So 
let's not pretend like somehow you accept different standards for your actual friends. Maybe some girls do, but from everything I've ever seen, this is uh, not exactly the case. Have kids with someone you're not planning to move in with. Why would our standards for our life partners not be impeccably high? Because you're not perfect. So the guy that you want to be with doesn't exist. Therefore, you're going to wait forever because he doesn't exist. So sometimes a guy that is good and does things that you expect a guy to do is good enough. Maybe. This whole notion, I'm just going to finish this video. Let me just finish it. Why would they not be the highest? Honestly, it's a lot to think about. Well, it's not a lot to think about it, is that you're overthinking about it because you think you're perfect. You're a princess. Uh, your entitlement is through the roof. You think a man should come in and save your life, do everything for you, while you essentially don't necessarily do that much. The whole time you talked about what a guy needs to do, okay? I don't think... Most girls never talk about what they are willing to do for a guy. Like, what are you going to do? You know, what is a girl going to do? What are you going to do that's so special that you deserve that ultimate guy that you speak of? The guy that's going to remember every single conversation you have. The guy that's supposed to be engaged with every little petty thing that you think is important. Is everything you think is important actually important? Or is it just that you feel it's important? Once again, holidays birthdays how many days now do women have before it was like birthday anniversary now we got woman's day valentine's day well valentine's day valentine's day has been a thing for a while but valentine's day used to be a date day now it's a girl's day okay uh every day now is a girl's day used to be birthday now it's birthday week and the real ones are going to understand because they've heard this too it's my birthday week so perpetually we're adding more days that inevitably turn into woman's day. Men don't care about these arbitrary days. We just don't care and we're never going to care. And the guys that tell you they care are lying to you. They're just saying it so you don't get mad about it because they don't want you to know their actual opinion. It's just, yeah, these standards are, are getting blatantly out of control. And I, I, don't, I can be a lot more rude about this, but I'm just going to leave it here. Don't forget to join my Discord as I'm building a community of guys that are looking to self-improve.